Number 31. During a scouting exercise, Andres leaves camp and hikes two miles northwest. He then turns and hikes three miles due north. Felicia leaves camp and plans to hike directly uh, on a direct path to Andrew's new position. What direction should Felicia hike? There's a little, uh, we've got those backwards there, uh, to the nearest tenth of a degree. All right, so let's start graphing this. First, we're talking about the northeast, west, northeast, southwest system. So I'm going to label these. We have north, east, south, west. Uh, the word I was looking for there was dyslexic. That's where I paused. I got a little dyslexic there when I typed that up. Sorry about that. Um, it says here he hikes two miles northwest. So two miles northwest. How would we represent that? Northwest is going to split north into the west, and so it goes this way, right in between them. Uh, so this would be two miles here. And then it says he turns and walks three miles due north. So he turns and goes a further distance due north. Due north means straight north, not towards the north. It means straight north from where he is currently located. So he does this for three miles. We want to know if Felicia were going to hike straight to his point from camp, what direction should she hike? That's what we want to know. We're looking for the direction. And so I'm going to put here so we don't forget. We're looking for this angle. What direction should she hike? We know it's going to be to the northwest, but we don't know how many degrees or such. So how do we solve this? Well, I'm going to use vectors to solve this. Uh, I have two thing vectors that are combined together, so I'm going to add two vectors. When I first look at this vector, I notice that it's slanted. And since it's slanted, uh, it has an angle with it, and so I'm going to use the r, comma, theta, mindset, or a lot of the years we've called this H. It doesn't matter what you call it, since it's a slant, I'm using that terminology, I'll call it H comma theta. And so that's going to be the first value. The second one, since it's a, a Y, I'm going to use it in this term where you go X comma Y. That's how I'm going to combine these together. Alright, so first, how do I get this? Let's see, the H is 2, and my angle, if it's north west. That means it splits the north and the west. You always do your angle for the calculator's purpose from the x-axis. So here over this would be, um, let me move this blue out of the way just for a second. And so this right here is 90 degrees plus half of this one which would be 45 degrees. We add those together, we get an angle of 135 degrees. That's to get uh, to his first nor northwest direction. That's what Andres does first. Now that I've done that, I'm going to add this back and put this down here, because again, this is what I'm looking for there. Now I come to the second point. He goes three miles north. So I'm going to put... Since north, the hat does not move left to right, I'll put a zero there, comma, three. This does not get an angle symbol because y is not an angle. This is an angle, and that's why it gets this symbol. So I'll go to my calculator, and I want to put uh, control parenthesis, get the bracket. We go two miles on a heading of northwest, which means 135 degrees. Make sure you hit the angle symbol. Make sure you hit the degree symbol. Now I'm going to add that. To 0 comma 3 because he then hiked 3 miles due north. Press enter. The calculator first gives you the answer as an x and y. This doesn't want an x and y. It wants the direction angle. So I'm going to convert this to 4. So I go menu 7 c 4. That's menu vectors vectors polar. This would be my magnitude. This would be my angle. We just discovered that this actually equals 107 and I'm going to say point eight degrees because it says around to the nearest tenth. So that would be my heading here, 107.8. Now sometimes when we come to problems like these, it might be multiple choice and it might have the answers listed in between two quadrants. Since this is in between north and west, you would say north something degrees west. Well north refers to 90 degrees, that's 90 away. 
So if you need to find that, what you would do is you take your 107.8 value and we would subtract 90 because north is, counts as 90 by itself and this means that my answer would be north 17.8 degrees west or if they went from the west, west refers to 180. So you take 180 and take that away from the angle. I always do the bigger number minus the smaller. If you're wondering how did how come here did you go 107 minus 90? You always take the larger number and then take away the smaller. And subtract, I would say west 72.2 degrees north. That would be if it were written uh, as like a multiple choice value, you would have your answer in this form. So those could be your two answers. Ah, sorry about that. But the, for this particular problem, it would be this way. This would be if it were a multiple choice problem here.